under RC. I didn't see the comment. I read a little bit of it. He did. Uh, he did kind of go Jason Whitlock on the homie uh, Dwayne Haskins. What are your thoughts on the dismissal of one Dwayne Haskins from the Washington racial slurs? Man, um, it was shocking. Um, it I mean, maybe it's not as shocking as it, as it should be in my head, but I was sort of surprised by it. I mean, I know there was some ruffled feathers in the well, I don't know personally, but from what I've read and from what it showed on TV, there's been some ruffled feathers in regards to him not just not being capable of going to play the game. So it's like, Well, um, from what I'm reading, I'm reading I see all, all the comments, and Booker McFarland is talking about how a lot of brothers come in and talking this brand thing. And um, the thing about this, man, this this is a touchy situation. He said he mentioned Jamarcus Russell and didn't mention people like Ryan Leaf and, uh, and Johnny Manziel. Okay. At the risk, it sounds like I'm a, 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 a Booker McFarland apologist. And if I, if I sound like that, I'm going to I'm gonna have to eat it, man. I understand where Booker's coming from, man, because, okay, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to jump out the window, and I need to hear the statement before I make a definitive remark on this, but uh, Shannon Sharp was real nice about it this morning, and he was talking about how Juju is worried about building his brand and building his brand, and he's doing all this dancing, and at some point, you're going to have to put up or shut up. And the one, again, this goes back to Michael Jordan. This goes back to LeBron James. This goes to Kobe Bryant. This goes to Warren Moon. This goes to uh, uh, any other black or, 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 or big-time athlete that had a quote-unquote brand. Those dudes, I'm sick of seeing dudes with a brand before they do something. Now, LeBron James is the exception to the rule. LeBron James was the most talented kid we've ever seen in our life coming to the National Basketball Association, and he took the world by storm. Now, the uh, 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 the, the caveat to it is LeBron James walked in the door and gave Sacramento 25, 5, and 6, or something like that. So, hey, with it, damn, he real. But when you Juju Smith-Schuster and you ain't had a bust-out game since AB left, maybe you don't need to be doing TikTok videos, man. And to address this Dwayne Haskins thing, I, again, I don't know exactly what Booger said, but what I will do is this. I'll comment on this. What I don't like is how mainstream media write Jamarcus Russell off as a bum. Was, did Jamarcus Russell live up to his potential? Hell no. But if you're going to tell a story, you have to tell the entire story. You have to tell the story from... Once upon a time to the end. Once upon a time, a, a semi-lazy dude got drafted. A semi-lazy, extremely talented guy got drafted by the Oakland Raiders. The dysfunctional Oakland Raiders from, a, from LSU. He was already not the hardest working dude. He was probably the most talented in regards to arm talent and things of that nature. He was dropped into a vat of bullshit. And he was unable to develop. And then he was not given a second chance. So when you start talking about Jamarcus Russell being a, a, a bum, no, Al Davis drafted a young man into a chaotic situation, and he never flourished in it. And then he turned to drugs, the, and then he was never given a second chance, the end. But when you are Ryan Leaf, who got caught breaking in people's cribs, who got addicted to Pills, who have been to the penitentiary several times, and he's still getting opportunities. And then you got people like Johnny Football, who got a chance and a couple of chances in the NFL, and then got a chance in the CFL, and you never heard from him again. And then you, you always hand from him. 
These guys are not bought up like that. In regards to Dwayne Haskins, Dwayne Haskins from, I respect Shannon. I don't respect Chris Mortensen. I don't respect these other dudes. I respect Dan Graziano because Dan Graziano will chop it up with you on Twitter. So you can ask him direct questions and he'll respond unless you disrespect him. So I'm going to say, I understand why Dwayne Haskins got cut because he was late. And, he, and, and at the end of the day, this man did put motherfuckers' lives in jeopardy. If you believe this COVID thing is popping, motherfuckers, then that was cut worthy because as Shannon Sharp always says, you will be tolerated as long as your talent supports tolerance. Dwayne is playing like cat shit. So you need to be the quietest dude in the room. You don't need, you don't need to be far and loud in the whisper. Or else your ass can be gone. And one thing I don't like about this is this. Why is it that we only hear about the mishaps and the hiccups of players when they on their way out the door? Because this lets me know that these reporters and these networks are full of shit. Because the story is the story. The sto don't tell me after a uh 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 don't tell me about how somebody did something when when you cut them. I need to know on ESPN, you know Dwayne Haskins was late again today. You know Dwayne Haskins was late again today. They gonna fuck around and cut him. Don't wait till they cut him then. Well, you know he was a fuck up anyway. I don't want to hear that no more. I'm not on there, none of that. My man D. Gray say, hey, Frack, if you come to L.A. with them Jane Fonda rebound, we're going to have to talk. <laughs> Good evening, family. That was my man uh, D. Gray. Hey, man, I'm not coming with no motherfucking workout joints. I'm wearing some AIs. And since you said it. Good evening, family. That was for you, D. Gray. I'm not questioning the Haskins didn't cut. I thought Booger went too far. And again, I'm speaking truly out of ignorance in regards to what uh, Booger McFarlane said. But because Booger has rarely, if ever, said some sucker shit, RC, I'm going to give him the... This is this time, I'm not going to excuse what he said, but I'm going to give him the sweat equity pass. Because usually he's standing up for the bros and... Again, if you know you playing like shit, don't do dumb shit, man. If you know you leading the league in uh, 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 linebacker completions or, or DB completions, knock it off. Like, for example, the homie Cam. You ain't heard a peep out of Cam because he out there stinking. I'm, right. I'm finna show up and just hey, hey I'm gonna do I'm gonna do what I can do. Cause he's stinking, man. Yeah, so if you ain't playing well, you don't need to be dancing out on the uh uh, uh the goddamn uh the center of the field. You don't need to be worried about your brand. Cause at this point your brand is shining. You see what I'm saying? There you go. Your brand is shining. So Again, I can only speak on... I'm going to go on Booger's rep. And I, I'm going to go on RC's rep. Booger went too far. But because Booger does not jump out the window like a lot of these Jason Whitlock types, a lot of these uh, uh, Smith types, uh, 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 I ain't trying to... I, I'm going to give him a pass. You know, if he it, now he did go, you know, he was at LSU. I thought he went to Auburn for a half a second. I don't, if, if he went to Auburn, I'd have been like, "It's something in the water down there," because Charles Bach is goofy ass. But this is one thing, and I'm, 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 I want your opinion on this, Joe. Why don't a lot of these young brothers do this now? Because you can't plead ignorance in regards to. Because it's it's a nineteen year old dude right now. It's a it's a twenty year old dude who a brother who is paying attention to this thing with Dwayne Haskins, right? Okay. 
why not do exactly what Shannon Shaw said? Chase Young ain't worth a thousand. Like, like, these are, this is a direct quote from Shannon Shaw. Chase Young, no, 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 what's his name? Chase Daniels. Chase Daniels can't play dead in the Cowboy movie, but he has made about 30 to $50 million as a backup in the National Football League because all he do is keep his head down and play. You know, he... Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Why would you... Why do these young brothers, knowing it's a target on your back, knowing you're not going to get a fair shake as a black QB or a black anything in sports, why don't they just relax? I'm going to need you to relax. Or am I asking too much? RC, I love to hear your opinion. D grade, I love to hear your opinion. I don't. Is it too much to ask somebody to get on a team, work your ass off, don't make a lot of noise, go to practice, and, and do what you're supposed to do? You know, the crazy part about that is that sounds a lot like. No, no, no. I'm talking about the shit that Juju's doing. No, I, I, understand, I understand what you I understand exactly what you say. But it sounds like it sounds parallel to shut up and dribble. Or shut up and play. It's like why do you I mean why do you have to be seen besides during the time that we're trying to watch you during the game. Hmm. Hey, touche. But, okay. Like, I mean, but here's the thing, though, Joe. Because, I, because I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you. That's because dope. That was a great point. Some of the biggest stars, they do their they do interviews, and they keep it moving. Because they're the ones that are Okay, you know what? Nice way to check me. Shout out to Joe from Houston on the check. Shut your puss ass up, H Rap, H Rap. You are wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Shout out to Joe for the checking. But okay, okay, okay. Let me. And see, okay, let me correct it then. Let me, let me, hopefully I can put a different spin on. Haskins needs to grow up and get serious, but Booger came off as just the black player who thinks about the brand, oh, okay, and more than that crowd. Okay, that's what I have a problem with. Okay, okay, a few players being seen for the wrong reasons and things. Exactly, me and D-Grade on the same page, and we are all four of us on the same page. All four of us on the same page. But this, may, okay, I'm going to reword what I'm saying. I'm going to reword it, and then you, you let me know what you think. Okay? Yeah. Okay, he said nothing about uh, white players to mess up. Okay, that RC is saying, if you're going to drag people, drag everybody, don't drag nobody. Shout straight up. Okay. Right. My thing is this. If you walk in the door like Randy Moss, act a fool. If you walk in the door... Like Damon Stoudemire, rookie of the year, act a fool. If you walk in the door and, and you in contention for the, if you Alvin Kamara, my thing is this: it's funny that Alvin Kamara, uh, uh, Randy Moss, uh, uh, Donovan McNabb, all these brothers throughout the years. Steve McNair, he got holes by that dumbass coach of his for a couple years, but. All the dope brothers, even the activism dope brothers, you never see them acting a fool. 
you never see them boogieing on the guy.